It's still going. And going. I am not an attorney. So apparently there's been newly discovered information in the case of what's going on. Let's take it right to Jeremy. Jeremy, take us away. I talked about this morning about how Naughty Dog had been repeatedly issuing strikes, manual strikes, in order to uh, suppress people covering the leak. Obviously, I believe that this is a major tactical error. You should have just accepted your fate. Trying to cover it up only makes it more funny. Heck, you can't even go on Twitch uh, <laughs> without seeing people just spamming the leaks. Strays in effect totally isn't a thing. I don't like spoiling things for people. That's why I haven't covered the exact spoilers because I know no matter who's watching this, there's going to be people who play video games that watch my channel or that have come across my channel and all this and genuinely don't want to be spoiled. Now there's been some updated information. PSA, there are some shady people trying to take advantage of creators who are getting copyright strikes and uh, claims and strikes off Naughty Dog discussions. Do not entertain these scam artists. You can see like Strike Resolver looks fishy. They claim to assist 25 channels with 25 million subs. There's all sorts of companies reaching out directly. These companies Strike Resolver, they're trying to get on um, uh, people who are complaining about it publicly. They're trying to feed on these people getting strikes. Again, do not pay these people any money. They cannot help you. All they can do is what we do, and that's to dispute said claims. On top of that, there appear to be shell companies I'm hearing rumors of out there that are doing uh, a lot of the striking. So just be careful. You know, if the leak started, let's say Wednesday, we saw a drop Wednesday. It peaked up against uh, late Thursday at the end of the day. And then today it has completely plummeted. Now it's kind of worked itself back a little bit more. Wait a second. Isn't this chart just showing price per share of low point $62, a high point of $65 at April 29th, but it looks like a lot of people started talking about something, it kind of shot up. It went up, it went up, it went down, it went down some more, it's recovered, it's at a point, but we're talking about two bucks a share? I don't know, maybe, maybe that's huge, I, I think Sony owns more than all that. Could be wrong. Continue. But the way they're reacting, the way they're striking down videos, we've seen in Neil Druckmann interviews that he's very concerned with, uh, with what Anita Sarkeesian says. I've covered this in previous Naughty Dog videos where he interviewed with her. He loved her Feminist Frequency video series. She worked with or consulted on this game, I believe. Um, so there's obviously an influence there. How dare a game developer work with another game developer? this Kickstarter happened about the tropes versus women in video games. And while you might argue with the way it delivers its message or whether every point is, is exact, you can't argue with just the pattern that you see in the industry. Uh, so I was really intrigued by this. The videos for the video games hadn't come out yet, but I watched the rest of Anita's videos and I realized it's not just a problem in games, it's actually throughout entertainment. So while working on The Last of Us, I had this secret agenda that's Becoming less and less secret the more I talk about this stuff. Paris Hilton never ate a cheeseburger. All right, so what new info we got? Now, as of just a few hours ago, The Last of Us 2 leaker has been caught, and it's not a disgruntled Naughty Dog employee. Sony can't say who it is due to pen impending investigations. Sony has identified the people, yes people, so it's multiple people, responsive for the massive Last of Us 2 leaks, and it's not the rumored Naughty Dog employee, according to a report from Polygon. SIE has identified the primary individuals respons responsible for the unauthorized release of the Last of Us 2 assets. You're talking about a lawsuit that is in the many millions of dollars. Um, these people might actually also get jail time. I don't know where they're located or anything like that, but interestingly enough, uh, we are unable to comment further. As Games Radar previously reported, a ton of information about The Last of Us 2 leaked in April, including cutscenes, a complete list of levels, and spoilers for the entire plot. Since the leaked footage appeared to be from the internal build, Naughty Dog had previously called out for some serious crunch. They had been called out for crunch. Rumors swirled of that it was a disgruntled former employee. 
Now it's clear that that isn't the case, and it seems more like one person was involved based on Sony's statement, which refers to the guilty partner as individuals. I'm sorry, more than one. It's not clear whether we'll ever find out who these people are or if they have seemed to have gotten their hands on what looks like an internal Naughty Dog build or how they got it. There's no word yet on what sort of legal ramification these, quote, individuals will face, but considering there's now an army of jerks spamming Twitch chats and live streams with The Last of Us 2 spoilers, I sincerely hope justice is served piping hot. Uh, I don't. Wait a second. I think Tim covered something about this. Tim? But I gotta do something I don't normally do. I gotta give a shout out to Virtual Shield. In the, in the description below, you will see a link to uh, Virtual Shield at hidewithtim.com. Virtual Shield is a virtual private network service, meaning they help keep your private data safe while you browse the web. And this is true because of the lockdown. A lot of people are at home and working from home. It is recommended that you have some kind of security. Now, here's the way I always put it. A VPN is like a regular old lock for your door window. You know, we don't expect people to break in, but we still lock our doors. The same is true for a virtual private network. No security is impenetrable, but it is smart to have some kind of, you know, some kind of protection for your, for your home browsing, especially if you're doing important work and banking and things like that. All right, let's investigate this mysterious third party vendor, Muso. Muso is the leading authority in digital piracy. Discover how Muso Piracy Data can drive value, provide insight, and protect your content online. Request a demo. Oh. So it looks like they operate on behalf of the corporation, which in this case would be Naughty Dog and whoever their ownership structure goes, which would be Sony in this instance. And it looks like they uh, work to file claimants uh, on behalf of them, so I don't need to manually have somebody in-house do it on YouTube or other platforms. Um, so they're doing their job. So how the hell did we get here? Well, I think it's simple. First of all, it would be embarrassing from a data security standpoint, but it would also lend significant more, significantly more credence to the story about crunch affecting the staff negatively and that leading to these leaks because there absolutely was a narrative of, uh, you know, the, the, the staff was so angry. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good look. There's also the story going around that the developer went and asked for an advance on their bonus. Go on. Because famously, video game developers are underpaid, but they work under the assumption that they're gonna get a gigantic bonus once the game releases. Go on. This is exactly how Gearbox does it with Borderlands 3. Most of the time, some of the times, these bonuses are bigger than their annual salary. Go on. So the story was someone went asked for an advance, they told him no, but also that the rumor was that higher-ups at the company, like Neil Druckmann, got advances on their bonuses. Now that's not been substantiated. There is a lot of information coming out uh, in, in relation to a disgruntled former employee, regardless of whether or not it was technically a former employee. Obviously somebody inside the building leaked it, somebody they were affiliated with leaked it, what their motivations were, we can only speculate for now. I think it would be interesting to hear some validation there. I, I'd be curious to see what they had hoped to accomplish. Maybe just thought it was for the memes, which, sure. What else could it be? So since this is an op-ed, I'm going to give an opinion. Once again, I'm not an attorney. Is it not possible that due to the current pandemic and the actions from which we currently are living yeah is it not possible that while somebody may be working from home uh didn't have a vpn maybe they maybe they click something they weren't supposed to maybe they're like me and have wrecked a bunch of laptops by visiting sites we probably shouldn't have i'm just saying occam's razor i have no idea time will tell and I hope you realize it's important that you also take your, your, your security seriously. So again, 